Network. Our fans online, I'm Diana Perez. And I'm Alex Perez with the top stories on this Friday, April 11th. A fiery collision between a tractor trailer and a charter bus packed with high school students has killed at least nine people. Police say the FedEx semi, semi crossed the median and slammed into the bus head on on Interstate 5, 100 miles north of Sacramento. More than 30 others were injured. The bus was carrying students from the Los Angeles area to a college tour. Among the dead, the drivers of both the bus and the semi. Hillary Clinton got a scare on stage in Las Vegas. There you saw it, scrambling to avoid getting hit by a flying shoe. She was speaking at a conference on recycling at the time. The woman who threw the shoe was hauled out by the Secret Service, and she is now facing criminal charges. The former Secretary of State quipped, quote, I didn't know solid waste management was so controversial. And it's no joke one week to the day that David Letterman announced his retirement from The Late Show. CBS has named comedian Stephen Colbert as his successor. He'll be making the switch from Comedy Central, where he hosts the Colbert Report in a character as a fictional conservative talk show host. The transition will happen sometime next year. And blending fiction with reality, Julia Louis-Dreyfus is taking flack for her provocative Rolling Stone cover, not because she posed nude, of course not, but for the glaring factual error on her back. John Hancock's signature at the bottom of the U.S. Constitution, of course, it was the Declaration of Independence. Now the Veep star is tweeting out, it's no error that John Hancock wasn't part of that tattoo at all, but actually a birthmark. And she tweeted this baby picture to prove it. <laughs> she is a genius when it comes to comedy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can get more news anytime at abcnews.com. I'm Alex Perez. And I'm Diana Perez. Thanks for watching. This is World News Now, available anytime, anywhere you want it. Every day, more Americans choose ABC News, America's number one news source.